Okay, so we're doing another VOD review today. Um, let me turn this up real quick. Okay, so we're doing another VOD review today. If you need to skip around to certain rounds, I'm just going to do all of it. So don't worry about that. Uh, Mike is muted to the recording, so you can't hear me. And they don't really have anything productive, so you can mute it. I'll quit my voice next time. I'm going to leave it on. I might turn it down, but I'll leave it on just for the sake of turning it, having it. Okay, so just to kind of start off, Jackal, it's a good band. Um, Blitz is an interesting band, but on Hereford, I don't see a problem with it. Um, Mirror is a good band on here. Let me just go to the end of you guys' band phase. Okay, so. Got Jackal, Blitz, Mira, and Echo. You guys banned Blitz and Mira. Those are two good bands. I don't think I would. Blitz isn't, hasn't been a problem, at least on this map. Hasn't been too much of a problem. Uh, I guess it just depends because this is. I think you're at Silver 2, I want to say. That's what I think I saw. Let's see the beginning. Yeah, so it's Silver 2. So let's just start off here. Um. And I said this with the last person that I did a VOD review on. If I'm just going to give like what all my what I think about this gameplay it might not be 100% correct, but it's just little tiny things that I've noticed that you do or whatever. Yeah, I think I'm going to probably just mute this for right now. Um, okay, so the first things first, you lost your drone. Uh, your team actually lost their drone. There is no drones, unless, okay, there's one drone left, but for whatever reason that glitched. How weird. Um, Yeah, the biggest first thing is the drones didn't survive. Not a single drone survived. So, I would definitely work on your, dr work on your drone economy. You personally can work on it. I don't know if you're queued up with anyone, um, but definitely try not to lose your drones especially don't like you don't need to run into sight and ping everyone you'll find everyone eventually okay so playing nomad that's a fantastic air jab um trying to think of any other air jabs might be useful on this the only air jabs i can think of might be useful when you go into sight but i'll just keep watching to see what you do with them Okay, so that's both your drones down now. I don't know if you had to peek him like that and ping him out, but you just lost both your drones now, so you're kind of at a disadvantage, especially if you're solo queuing. Okay, let's see what you're trying to do with this. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of things wrong right now. Um, wow, how is this working? <laughs> this is so tricky. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is like the most silver. This is so bad. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, your teammates are not helping you in, at all in any of this. Um. Let's back up. Okay, see, so that's when you droned. You opened the door. You came back up. So, first things first. Um, yeah, first things first. Realistically, you guys have four people and they have three. That's already an advantage. Now... There's a clash right here, and there's actually an alibi, I think, somewhere right here. I don't know if that's her behind um, right here or not. Either way, um, for the sake of this, let's say the alibi is also right here. Let's put her right there. Um, that means that there's only one other person on one of the sites. 
So that means you can start pushing on to site rather than trying to go and deal with this clash. Also, the Nomad air jabs are not meant for... I don't know what you're trying to do here. Uh, I know you put one on the wall right here, and then you put one on the back corner over there. So... I don't know. I understand that you're trying to get rid of that clash, but the thing is you normally have to deal with clashes in a team environment. You need to deal with her with two people rather than one. Um, I'm not sure if you called out that she was sitting here because that thermite did come over later and try to help you out but ended up dying. Um, let this keep playing. So I see what you're trying to do with the clash. So you know that the alibi is right here and the clash is actually sitting behind the the corner of the window right there. And I think she even dropped her shield because she crouched. So, let's see. So, you just saw right there that I can't, I don't know if I can go back a little bit. You just saw that right there. So, you knew she's sitting in this corner. You knew she's sitting in this corner right here, and she actually dropped her shield. That's the only way she can crouch. So you could have potentially peeked that. Uh, the alibi being there might have caused to be might have caused more of a problem. But yeah, we'll just see right now. See where this goes. Keeps going. So if I were your teammate and I saw you put this down, put your air chip down right here. I would have been pretty mad just because of the fact that it could have gotten you killed, especially if that alibi was still right there. Because you put it right here, but you don't move. And the clash obviously is starting to back up. Yeah, the clash is obviously starting to back up because she sees exactly what you're trying to do. And then you both get air jabbed. So the only reason that this is a problem is because... You both get air jabs. So if you air jab each other, there you can't capitalize on it. Luckily, you're able to get that alibi. And unfortunately, you couldn't get... Normally, you could only get the head of Clash right there. But I'm not too sure if you had the aim to just nail her in the head. So right here, right here when this Clash is sitting here trying to contest you. The Thermite needs to come all the way around to come help you out. And I think he tries. And I'm not too sure if you actually called it out. I can see you're talking, but I'm not too sure if you called it out. Okay, let's see how this plays out. So you played that well. I mean, you shot her feet. Yeah, you got to reload your gun. You don't have diffuser either, so that's a problem. Yeah, so right now your teammates are correct. You need to be pushing her and hitting her shield away from her. There you go. That's perfect. So you played that well. You did let her recharge a little bit, but at the end of the day, you did play that well. Um, when it's a 1v1 on a clash, you have to push her. Okay, so let's just keep going okay so the assumption is that they're gonna go probably there again um you don't necessarily need a thermite but i mean they could go downstairs but let's see so let's see if your drone drone economy is bad again so again you're pushing in with the drone and you lose your drone that right off the bat you don't need to ping. You really don't. If you watch people play at a higher level, they don't really ping that much unless it's for information. Losing your drone that early on is so detrimental to you because you saw in that last round, you couldn't drone anyone because you already lost two drones within the first prep phase and then into the action phase. I think within the first minute, you lost your drone. So make sure you keep your drones alive, especially because you guys already only have three drones. That's a big thing that needs to happen when you lose drones you're losing a lot of information for each drone you lose 
So yeah, you guys are already at two drones and you guys just made it out of the prep phase. Apparently someone got TK'd. see so they're upstairs you're gonna come in down here not a horrible place to come in depending on let's see really quickly oh they didn't pause really quickly a thing you need to do you need to make sure that Whoever you're you're coming in for, like wherever you're coming in, you didn't even drone this. I you probably didn't drone this at all, which at your rank isn't horrible because people don't drone hardly ever. But that's something that can get you killed, and I'm sure you've been killed by it before. Yeah, it seems like no one in your rank's droning, which is to be to be expected. That's a good kill. That's who you were looking for, too. Great that you're getting the diffuser. Okay, where are you going right now? So it looks like you rotated all the way around. I think you're expecting this class to be playing in the same exact spot. So you're going to probably come in through the window. No. So this is a lot different than what I would have expected. Again, you didn't drone. You're not even looking to the hatch that's right next to you. Um, yeah, you didn't even clear that room. That, that'll get you killed multiple times. You still have a drone, just to point out. You still have a drone and you're not droning. Let's see how this plays out. It's good they didn't shoot the alibi or the holograms. It was great that you downed the clash, but you didn't get to capitalize on any kills. You end up getting killed. Um, realistically, there's no way you really could have came back from that. One before is not like an ideal situation, but so in the in this moment, let me back up just a tiny bit so it's not that super white. So ideally, in this situation, they don't know you're here. They actually think you're somewhere over here for whatever reason probably because the call out went out that um whoever just died was already right there so that's already good in your favor you could have turned this around by shooting them in the head just one tap them in the head or making sure that you you swing wide and this could have just been a misfire but you went straight for the body rather than shooting the head and ended up missing the alibi if you had at least one tap the clash, it would have given the alibi a lot less information to play off of. Once you missed the head and you weren't able to capitalize on the al on the alibi and the clash, you got revealed by your prisma because you missed, which is would have happened regardless. But you also ran into the issue of you just let the alibi kind of give callouts and all that stuff, rather than being sort of a shock to the system. And obviously the ping's not working in your favor. Valkyrie able to capitalize on that kill. Okay. So let's see. This comp's pretty good. It just depends what you do with the sledge. Your nomad hasn't been too useful on your team just because they're not really running out or kind of pushing super hard. So that's a good thing that you switched. I think you noticed that. Gotta make sure your drones live. Okay, so it looks like they're down in the basement. Again, you're going with your drone to try and ping. Again, you lost your drone. So that's going to be a big point in all this. I'll just stop saying it, but that's going to be a big point in all this. Uh, you guys are down to two drones again. So I get at this rank, people don't really drone, but like. Let's just rewind it.
don't know what just happened. Let's see. There you go. Yeah, so let's just play it from right here. So, starting the action phase, you guys already lost a bunch of drones. I get at this rank that people don't use drones as much as they should. Or any intel to begin with. So, I get that. But get in the habit of saving your drones. That's such a big habit that you need to get into. I mess it up. Everyone messes it up. But, when you, especially when you get in a higher tier ranks, you're not going to be able to... That's going to be your lifeline, pretty much. This is great drone work. It's smart that you're droning this. I would have droned that before I opened the door, but smart that you're droning it. This is already smart that you're opening up the floor. Ooh, please don't drop with that droning. Thank you. This is smart. This is smart drone work. This is why you have two drones. Is you because you can do this kind of stuff. Okay, trying to shoot that Valkyrie. Unfortunate. C four. Yeah. So this is a good rotation onto the staircase. Smart rotation, at least. Unfortunately, you were able to capitalize on the Valkyrie. Great secondary uh, use, though. It's good that you recognize it. You did have 12 bullets, but it's good that you recognize when to use that. Uh, you did face check that, so that almost got you killed. That's a good kill. So far, you're doing pretty decent, honestly. Minus the drone thing, I mean, you're doing pretty decent. Unfortunately, don't have any drones left, but. Okay, so it looks like you're communicating with your teammate. You're going to probably drop the hatch here. Uh, don't know what exactly you're trying to do with those grenades. Oh, that just happened. Okay, so he's putting the plant down. Hooray. Oh, now we run into the clash issues again. I don't know what in the world this is doing. Oh my goodness. Shoot her legs. Well, at least that worked out. Okay, so let's see let's see your defenses. You're playing with the Lee Oh, you switched three times. Okay, so playing with the Maestro. So let's look at some Maestro camps, see where you place these. That's already a bad Maestro cam. <laughs> um, the only reason that's a bad Maestro cam is because it can get shot from anyone looking in this doorway or anyone looking in from the other doorway that's on that balcony right there. And the reason it's a bad Maestro Cam isn't necessarily the the intention of it. It's more of the placement because of the fact that you there's no way for you to guard it. At least if you put it on the wall. Say if you put it like close to the... Hold on. Let me see. Let me go back. Actually, let's play from right there. So if you would have put it maybe right here close to the door, I would get that. But placing it right in the middle of the floor right there just doesn't work. Um, you can also place this right here onto this little, uh, brick stack that honestly, cause either way to close the door or on the brick stack would have been a better placement. If you plan on keeping it there, uh, if there's a Zofia, a sledge, a Maverick grenades an ash, anything like that, it can get rid of your maestro cam without even trying. Especially the biggest one is Sledge and uh, the my the Maverick. Although I don't think a team would run Maverick on this site. Okay. See where you put your other one. Also, it's kind of like what are you watching with the Mavericks? Is kind of the big thing, or the maestro cams is a big thing. Uh, I try to keep my maestro cams either close to site or on site. That's a little. 
days. So, see, this one's even better than the other one because at the very least you can kind of watch the staircase. I know you guys don't have a Valkyrie or an Echo or anything like that, but they really should be used for intel. Honestly, you know, you could have put it too. Let's see if, if you look at it at all. I honestly, maybe just put it right here. Either either on this side of it or put it on top. Either way uh, will work. That's always a good spot. Because then you can watch anyone who comes in from the doorway right here. I don't, that's not a doorway. But anyone who comes from this area or anyone who comes from the other side that's over here. You can tell them. Even you should be able to see the staircase that's on this side right here. So I would maybe even just put it on that that box is set up. Having the mozzie does help though. It helps uh, where you can put your cams. It's just it's a bulletproof cam that's thermal. So if someone smokes, at least you can still see through it and give callouts. So that's good that you shocked that drone. See, already this cam's kind of in a bad position. And so already it's only two minutes. Your cam's in a bad position and you already are trying to shock someone. The point of this is not to ping, not to shock. I guess you could ping with the bulletproof cameras. But the point of Intel is not to sort of be a nuisance to the other team. It's to give Intel to your team. Obviously, the shocking is useful when you have a drone or when you have someone that's trying to plant. But don't go on and shock someone like this, especially when they're already looking at it. Because you just lost that cam, and now you have no idea if there's going to be someone sitting around there. This isn't a bad bulletproof cam. You could also put your maestro cam here. This isn't a bad maestro cam spot if that bulletproof camera already wasn't there. So, okay, real quick, this has nothing to do with you because I don't know if you're cute with any of them. You're the rooks right here, the frost is downstairs, and you're sitting right here. Someone just died on B, and there's no one even close to be able to make sure that no one gets into B. So if they start pushing B right now, then it's going to be over. Oh, that's a fuse. I do not know how you didn't die. There you go. So that's a, that's a positioning error. Um, if you plan on being in your cams a lot, I would definitely go sit in A because there's no windows in A. The only thing that's going to get you is if someone goes below, that doesn't always happen. So real quick before you died. Uh, I would have sat behind this. I would have either sat behind this or sat over here, but the hatch is right there. So for next time, uh, if you go maestro or, or anything where you're on your cams a bunch, make sure you sit behind actual cover. Don't expose yourself to the window because someone could have easily just opened that and saw you. I'm going to try to highlight these mistakes too just to, just to make a point of it, but... It's not really the end-all be-all. The Frost never rotated up, which means they were able to get into B. Um, you guys just lost too many people too soon, especially no one covering the other site. It was pretty easy-peasy for them to get into site. So I think you're going to stick with the Clash pick this time. See how you use her. Okay. First things first, you're running the P10. You should be running the SMG. I don't know if that was intentional or not. The SMG is a better gun in terms of clash because you don't want to get stuck with the pistol. Just 
Okay, let's see. Okay, you're playing pretty aggro, but nothing that's going to be like crazy get you killed or anything like that. I'm curious to see what exactly your intentions are with this. It's not a bad ping. You're really the positioning for this really isn't bad cuz it slows anyone down from trying to push up the staircase. As long as your lesions above, you'll be fine. <laughs> as yeah, really honestly, it's, and it sounds like you're communicating with lesion to not lose upstairs. So, I think as long as you don't lose upstairs, you'll be fine. Okay, so they're just using utility on you for no reason. So this clash pick seems to be working out. Yeah, that... I should have said I expected that, but... I don't... I, I think you know why you died there. Uh, that Sophia is going to screw you regardless. Um, let's see. I If I were you... Okay, so just looking at back at this... As soon as you... Let me see if I can just back up a little bit. Okay. As soon as... As soon as this happened. As soon as this happened where you saw the fuses right here. You know for a fact that the Blackbeard and the Zofia were both right there. As soon as that happened, I would have fallen off the angle a little bit. And not kept doing what you're doing right here. Because you can see this ended up getting you killed. Um, yeah, I mean, you saw the Blackbeard pushing. You saw Zofia using her explosive grenades. And then switching over to the concussion mines. So, I would have backed off that angle. I'd back way off that angle as soon as I saw someone following up that Zofia. Okay, so let's see. Oh no. That was he was just going for the memes, man. He was just going for the memes, man. Interrogation. Also, just to remind you that what in response to what Wade's saying, if the kill cam doesn't look the same as the person's screen, so he it could have been clear as day on his screen. Especially the Zofia mine, or the Zofia grenades. So it looks to me like you're feeding intel, which is always good. 15 seconds. Your teammates just got to play time on that. I don't understand what exactly he's trying to do. Yeah, he had he had a drone on him. That was that was bad on your Cavs part. Hereford's also a very bad map, just FYI. Okay, so let's see. You decided to go clash again. Hopefully you got the SMG-11 this time. Or that's not SMG-11. So you decide to go with the pistol again. Um, interesting choice. If you like the pistol more, I guess, then power to you. But most people usually go with the SMG. Those look like good barbed wires. Why can't you? Oh. Did it DDoS? Oh, I guess someone DDoSed everyone. Um, <laughs> awkward. Anyways, so the biggest things to just sort of go over because that was definitely a DDoS. The biggest things to go over was your drone economy is really, really bad. You personally, I don't know about, I can't speak for other teams because I don't know if they were actually in a group with them. Your drone economy was really lacking. Um... Your positioning was a little off also, especially upstairs in the top floor defenses. Um, 
on your drones you don't need to ping that's a big thing on your maestro cams you don't need to like go through this whole ping and try to shock people a minute into the round hmm what else yeah cam placements like maestro cam placements those were eh it is Hereford, so this map sucks anyways. Hmm. What else? I mean, I only really got to see one. Let's see. Let's look at your attacks again. Your attacks were decent. I don't... The Nomad isn't that useful on this map, so or at least on this site. So, I mean, she is, but it just depends on the user. You weren't using her to the... Like in the same way that I maybe would have used her, because I wasn't. You're not. You weren't shutting down corners. You're kind of just going after that clash both times. Because even when you had, and then when you had the sledge, the sledge was, the sledge play was a lot better than the clash than the nomad play. Excuse me. I do have to acknowledge that. You guys' bands were decent. The nomad wasn't bad. You were doing some drone work. I think your drone work could just use a little bit more use. Again, it is so hard to, like, people don't use drones at lower ranks. So, it's kind of hard for you to do a lot better when your teammates are also not using your drones and all that stuff. Overall, though, I think that's some stuff you can work on is just sort of drone economy and keep your drones alive. Droning better, playing with your intel better, especially if you're going to play an intel op on defense. Um... I would try the SMG on Clash. Don't use the pistol because in case you have to get into a 1v1, you don't really want a pistol. Uh, try not to face check too many things. You did face check a lot, but that's kind of the nature of the game at Silver. I think that overall, though, I think that's probably the biggest things you can hit on. Uh, let me know if you have any more VODs you want me to review. This one did get DDoS, unfortunately, but I think overall it wasn't horrible. It just needs some work.